going on, Victorians? It's the end of the season, and we're coming to preseason uh, PBE. I don't know if you guys saw my community post, but uh, TLDR, I have decided due to the amount of time I'm going to have available to me um, in the next month to play League, that it is just not beneficial to keep stressing and trying to get to our master's goal that we set. Uh, which is kind of sad. It's unfortunate. You know, the highest we got was Diamond 1 97 LP, which is the highest we've ever gotten on Victorious. And it's amazing. And I can't believe it actually happened, <laughs> I'll be honest. And then I entered. Um, and I know some things that I did wrong there. Um, my, my mental was not in the right spot. My outside of game life was not in the right spot. Lots of things were going on. And unfortunately, it reflected on my LP. So what we're probably going to do, um, aside from our normal League of Legends uh, gameplay content, uh, we're going to do a little bit of specific uh, PBE um, preseason analysis, play styles, builds, theory crafting, etc. And look out for that. We're going to do some gameplay with some builds, and and uh, I'll probably put out a guide for season twenty season 2022 uh league of legends with all of the things we've tested in mind and and going forward and what my plans are to achieve masters next season because it will happen overall this looks pretty fun um i'm actually really excited for the mage items i uh, we're gonna test all kinds of stuff out we're gonna try different builds we're gonna try all kind of crazy theory crafts you thought the theory crafts we had uh earlier in the season were nuts Dude, preseason is just going to get nuttier. Um, and, you know, in the beginning, we'll put out some videos, some things, just things we're trying out that probably won't make the most sense. Please don't take everything at face value. Obviously, it's preseason. Things are going to change. Don't watch this video, you know, a year from now and be like, I'm going to do this preseason build in current League of Legends. It's probably not going to work. Um, Preseason is a time for testing. It's a time for theory crafting. It's a time for experimentation. And we're definitely going to do that. Let's go ahead and get through this. So, this is uh, the PBE preview preseason um, guide or, or overview that Riot released about four days ago. Some of you guys have probably already seen this. But uh, I'm just going to go through it. We're going to talk about it, show you my thoughts. And I'll also, you know, give some input on how I think it will impact Victor. And uh, maybe some things I'll maybe want to look into more once we actually start deeping, deep diving into the games and whatnot. So, well, first thing, dragons, right? So we got dragons, some new dragons. Uh, I already know some of these from the uh, update that Riot released, but let's see if they give us some extra information and details. Uh, so Chemtech, uh, Chemtech Drake is one of the new dragons, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, it gives... Um, Bonus damage based on health. Oh, well, let me just go ahead and read through this. So standard buff grants bonus damage against enemies with more current health than you. Ah, see? All right. And Dragon Soul, uh, that's the one that gives uh, that second life. It gives, like, the Karthus, the Karthus passive. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. That's going to be really weird. I wonder how that interacts, like, with Victor, right? Because if you're in his ult if you're in his like if you're in the death form right we'll call it the death form so if you're in the death form and you cast your ultimate after you go away from your death form does the ultimate still follow and stay as if you normally died that'd be something we should probably check out um we'll definitely make a note of that what else? Uh, terrain. When the terrain transforms for the Chemtech Drake, gas zones emerge in four jungle locations. And Okay, that's the one that camouflages. Uh, it's going to be uh, pretty scary. Um, so essentially, if Chemtech Drake terrain is, is present, um, we're going to take the long way around unless we see everybody on the map because you do not want to be walking through camouflage zone cam camouflage zones as a immobile mage against potential assassins and whatnot that just doesn't sound fun um maybe we can use it to our advantage maybe <laughs> maybe we could do some burst one shot victor assassin gameplay with uh the chemtech drink that'd be pretty interesting for a head 
Uh, what else? Uh, Hextech Drake. Standard buff. Grants attack speed and ability haste. Yep, that's the one. Uh, doesn't really do much for Victor. I, I mean, I guess the ability haste is nice. But, I mean, it, it's not the best. It's like, it's not the craziest uh, dragon. Um, the slow chain is interesting. That's going to be, that's going to be cool. Um, but at the same time, the slow chain after perfect hex core, I mean, it's basically giving everybody Victor's W augment. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the slow is nowhere near as crazy as Victor's slow, but it, it's just interesting. Uh, terrain. Uh, okay. That's the one with the hex tech gates. Definitely want to look into that further. I don't really know how that's going to impact Victor per se, but you know, if you're, if you're on like the side lanes and you are trying to just farm up and scale and there's hex tech gates to kind of get you to do the, you know, the team fights faster or whatever, that could be a good change. Um, especially paired with teleport. There's a lot of opportunities there to be a little bit more present on the map, which I think would help Victor quite a bit. Um, objective bounties. I don't really know what to say about this. I mean, it's cool. Um, I think it's going to be really good to kind of allow a little bit more comebacks, you know, especially like right now, like if Victor falls behind early, it's very difficult for him to come back, especially since how snowbally the game is with objective bounties. It might be possible for victor to just kind of come back a little bit more you know with those you know in terms of coordinating with the team like not all hope is lost and then hopefully if everyone's got the mindset that all hope's not lost then maybe we'll get a lot less ff at 15 kind of mentalities i don't think so honestly i don't think it's going to do anything like that but it'd be nice if it did because i would argue maybe 65 percent of my games this season have said have had ff at 15 put into chat before 15 minutes <laughs> about some stupid things and you know it's funny a lot of them are actually wins you know but you know, just the mental for everyone's sake just needs to be fixed um all right crown of the shattered queen uh this right here this is the 70 AP health mana item. Okay, so another mana item. This means Victor can actually play this, right? Because most of Victor's items, you know, Leandri's, Ludens, uh, Everfrost, whatever, they're all mana items. This is because Victor's inherently very reliant on mana and he can't really get away with going like Dark Harvest or, you know, those kinds of items. So, or rift maker haha <laughs> funny i mean we in top lane it's a little bit of a different tech but i mean even then like that rift maker top build um still don't really recommend it i mean we'll try it in the pve but i wouldn't recommend it personally uh it's just it's just not very consistent i'm sure there's better options honestly this safeguard right here seems extremely strong into like really hard lane bully matchups like aurelia um so I'm actually really interested in trying this out. Uh, see if it really does give Victor a little bit more survivability. Um, especially this passive right here, which I'm sure they're probably going to bring this down. Uh, I think reducing incoming damage for 50% is a little crazy. It's a little insane. Um, I would say 25, 30% is probably gonna be the final numbers. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict that, but I mean, everything else looks really good. I think this is gonna be a solid item for Victor in hard matchups, and we'll definitely take a look and try that out. Winter's Approach, health, mana, ability, haste. Gain bonus health equal to 8% mana. Strike a target with an ability or an attack. Okay, so Victor's Q. To consume a charge and gain three bonus mana. Double the target's a champion, grant a mana. Full oh, this is, oh. This is a Tier of the Goddess um, tank item. That's what this is. So, huh. I wonder. Like, one of the things when we were theory crafting and testing out Victor top builds, like Bruiser top Victor builds, the, ma the mana tier made a lot of sense and was required, but building into Archangels just made you very squishy, and it really didn't do that much for you in terms of damage. 
um because your whole tech wasn't really based on damage it was really about the synergy on your q auto and your mobility and, and utility right so the fact that we now have a tankier item that gives us ability haste and health this might be an item to test on victor top but let's see what uh fimble winter says um 400 health to 860 mana 15 minutes shield gain bonus health equal to eight percent mana immobilizing or slowing melee only oh rip <laughs> there goes that uh immobilizing or slowing melee only an enemy champion consumes three percent of current mana and grants a shield for three seconds the shield is increased by 80 dude imagine if it wasn't melee only like imagine you could do like victor laser or like or, oh oh immobilizing or slowing. imagine you have perfect hex score and every single one of victor's abilities gives you a shield <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be so broken. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's a good thing it says melee only. Okay, so we're not going to play around with Winter's Approach. It, it just doesn't make sense to. Um, uh, Axiom Arc, AD, eh, and Dance with these suggestions, Ultimate Cooldown. Okay, makes Assassins more fun to play against. Sarcasm, very hard right there. Uh, Shadow Flame, damage champions benefit from 10 to 20 magic percentage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this item. This one sounds cool, honestly. Um, 80 AP, 250 health, pretty base or like pretty boring stats but like the the ability is sick damage to champions benefits from 10 to 20 magic pen based on target's current health gain the max penetration of the target was recently affected by shields we've got an answer for shields for ap champions yes like it's so annoying the the champions that are running roaming and running free and rampant in the solo queue meta right now are all champions that can take advantage of like shield bow you know and like the amount of shields in the game just in general it's just ridiculously high and all the champion kits and whatever else and they're all like ad and they benefit from ad and like you can't do anything about it and you're a burst champion shields are literally like a counter to you right but you getting shields Eh. it's not a big deal right but even if you did have shields the 80s still have an answer to break your shields so it's like what the hell why did it take so long i'm glad that i'm glad they're doing this though i'm glad i'm really happy you know if i see like a lot of janas and and a bunch of other shields and shield bows yone yasuos whatever i'm definitely building this item 100 definitely building this item like maybe even second item like no joke <laughs> like it's so dumb how much agency shield bow gives to certain champions it's insane anyway cosmic drive uh ability power oh this is uh yeah cosmic drive so they changed it it's now after damage champions three separate attacks or spells gain 30 percent movement speed and 40 so this is literally phase rush so it's funny right so you use phase rush like like when you use phase rush on victor you're playing like passive and you're just trying to like scale and just kind of chill in the lane and give yourself a little bit of survivability but then like you lose out on like airy and comet and electrocute but that extra movement speed is like really really solid synergy for victor but now it's like oh you decided not to do phase rush it's okay just buy cosmic drive and you get it anyway <laughs> Uh, I think Victor would do really well with this item, honestly. Um, like, maybe even core item. Like, if you didn't, like, okay, it's like, it's like contingent, right? If you didn't use Phase Rush this game, consider going Cosmic Drive as an alternative. That, that's something we'd definitely have to look into. Horizon Focus, 110 AP. Wow, that's a lot of damage. 150 health, okay. Also includes slows to trigger. Ooh. 
Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, I see something. Horizon focus on Victor may be the play. And you won't build it first item, right? You usually do your mythic. And you won't build it second item because you usually don't have your perfect hex score at that point. But third item? Man. Woo! That's solid. Because, like... Oh, my gosh. First off, a bunch of AP, right? It's, like, basically a death cap. Like, it's a lot of AP. <coughs> and then you get the extra damage on top of that from the horizon focus passive and it procs it was already procking on like mid to max range e right and it was already procking on first r and it was already procking on um you know if you're far away from w but like it wasn't procking on q and it wasn't really procking consistently if you got like too close now if they're on you dude and you got your perfect hex score, and you got the slows, and you got everything on your abilities, you're doing so much damage. Oh my gosh. Because all you have to do is hit a Q, or an E, or an R, or a W, and with perfect hex score, it doesn't matter, right? And then instantly, all preceding damage will be higher afterwards. Like, it is a burst mage's wet dream right here. This is so, this sounds fun. Uh, I'm definitely going to take a look at Horizon Focus. For sure. For sure. All right. Demonic Embrace. 60 AP. 450 health. Dealing ability damage. Burns enemies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, convert 2% of your bonus health to AP. Well. Bonus health, right? So this is interesting. Because... One thing I noticed, health, 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 health. Well, we won't use that item anyway. Health. All the AP items have bonus health. So, if you needed to burn, if you needed to burn tanks, boom you basically get like a mini and i mean like a really mini rabadon's death cap passive because all that extra health that you got from all those items that you're probably just going to naturally build will then just give you that much more ap on top of it that that's interesting that's definitely something to look into man there's like a lot of cool mage items like holy crap I don't really know what to build right now. I mean, there's, there, we're definitely gonna have to try this out. We're definitely gonna try different things here. Oh, we're not done though. Uh, apparently, Seraph's Embrace is in here. So let's see, Seraph's Embrace. Um, 80 AP, 860 mana. Wow, that's a lot of mana. 250 health, uh, gain ability, haste equal to 1.3 bonus mana. Is that always in there? I don't think it was. Maybe it, I don't know. Uh, I'd be I'm sorry. I actually don't remember if it was in there But ability haste is always good on me just so that's cool restore health equal to 40% of mana spent up to 25 50 plus 10% ability power per cast What what Restore health equal to mana spent oh my gosh what it's okay like even though even though it's not technically called spell vamp this is kind of a pseudo spell vamp especially for mana champions sorry vlad you can't do this but <sighs> hmm if you have victor and you're smack if you're stacking ability haste and you're running cosmic drive and you're just running and going and you're just going crazy with movement speed and cooldown reduction or ability haste and spamming abilities but then you have seraph's embrace because you were stacking up that tier and then now you're like running around with all this extra health on all your items by the way running around with all this health going crazy getting all these resets on your on your cooldowns right at the same time, 
you're gaining health through all the fiasco? What the? That sounds broken. That sounds really broken. Even... Oh my gosh. Hey. If Rift Maker, Seraph's Embrace, Top Victor? With Grass of the Undying? <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to try that. Runes, Lethal Tempo. Eh, Victor will never use that. Glacial Augment, mobilizing enemy champion, cause three glacial rays to emanate from them towards you and other nearby champions, creating frozen zones. So enemies for 40%, reduce their damage by 50% against your allies, not including yourself. Okay, so it's a support item. It's a support room, 100%. Does that mean we run Victor support Glacial Augment bot lane? No, probably not. But if i ever had to by any reason have to play victor in the support role this makes the most sense to me all right first strike damaging enemy champion the abil attacker ability before they do so grants five gold and first strike for three seconds causing your attacks or abilities to deal 12 percent extra damage against any ch against champions granting 100 percent that damage dealt is gold What? Damaging enemy champion with attacker ability before they do so grants five gold. Okay. First strike for three seconds. Causing your attacks or abilities to deal 12% extra damage against champions. 1%. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's so broken. I mean, that's broken for everybody, but like it works for Victor. It works for Victor. First strike, right? You got those max range E's down. Max range E, throw an ult on them. Have the ult follow them around. As the ult follows them, you're getting a bunch of gold for free. <laughs> Q auto E. Bunch of damage for free. Oh my god. Look at all the, all the gold. I know it says 70% of range range, but still... Still! Wow. Okay. Victor is a very gold hungry champion. And with first strike, he can get the items he needs at the times he needs to be relevant in the skirmishes, the early, you know, scuttle crap fights and the dragons. Like that extra gold will go a long way. It will go a long way. And it will really help with, uh, you know, matchups where Victor falls behind a bit. Because if you if you have a range advantage, you can at least get the first strike, right? And take it and try to get as much gold as you can. And it mitigates that that fall that fall behind. You know what I mean? But you know, that's just all theory crafting. I highly doubt this stays in the game. Or if it does, it's gonna be like two gold. 50% ranged units like something like this sounds so stupid broken like I don't know we'll find out we'll find out and lastly we believe the rift scuttle spawn is too impactful and say awkward early game so we're reducing its importance we're delving counter more quickly now that's squish here you're sure we can feed it more easily in a short back off of CT <laughs> yes no more rift scuttle throws Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many times I've played against like a Yone or a LeBlanc or a Talon or a Zed or a Zoe or some other high prio mid laner, right? And the enemy's got like a Graves or a Xin Zhao or something, right? And my jungler is just on on it he's his mind is set he needs to get that rift herald i mean that that scuttler he needs to get that scuttler and 
I'm got a wave that I'm farming under tower that I already knew scuttle was not ours that I already set vision up for the next one but no he wants the scuttle and so he creates this stupid skirmish with top and jungle and Xin Zhao comes in and everything else right and they're already pretty much dead on their own but no 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 the Zoe the Zed the Talon whatever get there before me get the last hit get the kill the jungler thinks in his mind oh i would have lived if the mid laner didn't show up mid diff all kinds of stuff ff15 doesn't want to play the game now my mid laner's fed i'm already in a hard matchup with low prio as it is and now off of one stupid stupid decision on scuttler we lose the game we lose the game. We lose the dragons. We lose the prior. We lose the agency. We lose the frequency. And all it takes is like one little mess up from the enemy team and maybe we come back. But that's all we're hoping for. Bot lane's already got their mental squish. Top lane's already thinking it's a jungle diff. It's all just, it's all a big mental league crap fest. <sighs> so seeing Rift Scuttler being, uh, you know, less important. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I'm I'm happy. I don't have to feel like I have to go and throw my entire game away on a 50-50 coin flip for a stupid fight that I shouldn't win, but possibly can just because reasons. Preseason's a time for testing. It's a time for theory crafting. It's a time for experimentation. And we're definitely gonna do that. As we get near the end of preseason, we will consolidate our results and I will put together a summary of what we've learned, what's likely to go to final for the end, for the start of the season, and I'll come up with some kind of simple uh, updated victor guide for season 2022 based on what we learned. So hope you guys are excited for that. Definitely gonna do it on stream as well. So stop in by, we're gonna be streaming on YouTube and uh, Trovo, uh, trovo.live slash victorious. We're definitely gonna be pushing Trovo again this year. I'm going to release a video probably here soon explaining why I stream on Trovo because I know I get that question a lot. And I'll definitely put in some details there. Hopefully it answers those questions. And I'm also live on Twitch, right? A lot of people ask me if I'm on Twitch. Yes, I'm on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash VictoriousGG. I uh, stream on Twitch. I multi-stream on all three. Every time I'm live, I'm live on all three. So choose your favorite. You can come watch me on YouTube. You can come watch me on Trovo. You can come watch me on Twitch. It doesn't really matter. I just hope to see you guys. Ask questions. Enjoy the time. And until then, hope to see you guys. See you real soon. And have a wonderful, victorious day.